When Marilyn Chin came to the United States from Hong Kong, her father changed her name from Mei Ling to Marilyn because, she says, he was obsessed with Marilyn Monroe. She's a poet, a translator, a novelist, and co-directs the MFA program at San Diego State University. The woman wore a floral apron around her neck. That woman from my mother's village with a sharp cleaver in her hand. She said, what shall we cook tonight? Perhaps these six tiny squid lined up so perfectly on the block. She wiped her hand on the apron, pierced the blade into the first. There was no resistance, no blood, only cartilage, soft as a child's nose. A last iota of ink made us wince. Suddenly, the aroma of ginger and scallion fogged our senses, and we absolved her for that moment's barbarism. Then she, an elder of the tribe, without formal headdress, without elegance, deigned to teach the younger about the Asian plight. And although we have traveled far, we must never forget that primal lesson on patience, courage, forbearance, on how to love squid despite squid. <laughs> how to honor the village, the tribe, that floral apron. Thank you so much.